This is the solution to written homework 49. Okay, so we need to solve two x squared plus nine x minus five greater or equal to zero. Because when that inequality is true, that's the natural domain of the of the original expression. So this solving that will give the natural domain we're looking for. Okay, and we're going to do that using the sign chart method. So first step is we need to find the natural domain of this inequality. So now say this carefully the the instruction is to find the natural domain of that expression the answer to to that is finding the solution to this inequality but then we want the natural domain of this inequality and that inequality's natural domain is all x so there's no breaks in that, in this thing's natural domain. So two. Now we want to zero and simplify. Okay, let's think about it for a moment. Can we think of two numbers whose product is negative 10, whose sum is positive 9, so that we can factor that? Yeah, I think so. So product negative 10 and sum of positive 9. How about negative 1 and 10? So that'll work. Okay, so that means we can take that inequality 2x squared uh, minus 1x, so minus x, and then plus 10x, and then minus 5, it's greater or equal to 0. So now in each pair, we'll factor out the greatest common factor. So that would be x. 2x minus 1, and then plus 5, 2x minus 1, greater or equal to 0. So that would be x plus 5 multiplied by 2x minus 1, greater or equal to 0. So now it's zeroed and simplified. Okay. Three. Now we're going to solve an equation. So we're going to solve x plus five multiplied by two x minus 1 equal to 0. So because we did all the hard work up here, this one is pretty straightforward now. So the solution is negative 5 or uh, half. So x is half. Okay, so now we can make the sign chart.
there were no breaks in the domain and there were these two solutions plotting them How about test points? Negative six, zero, and one. And we're going to take those values. And we're going to plug them in to right there. Okay. So if you plug in negative six, uh, that'd be negative, and then negative again. Plug in zero, that'd be positive and then negative. If you plug in one, that'd be positive and then positive. So that the overall sign is positive and then negative and then positive. <coughs> so now we're in position to make a conclusion. We're going to want all of the positive regions. So the reason we want the positive regions is this. It says greater or equal to zero. So there's two of those. And because it says greater or equal, we're going to want the endpoints. So that'd be negative infinity to uh, negative 5, including negative 5, and then union half to infinity. So what that's saying is that this expression can be evaluated, the original expression. So therefore, the natural domain of square root 2x squared plus 9x minus 5 is that set. Negative infinity to negative 5 union half to infinity. So that's the answer to the question, but as a matter of foreshadowing, That is a quadratic, and its plot will look like this. So that's negative 5, and that's half. something like that. And then you can see it's above the axis here, so it's positive. It's below the axis here, so it's negative. It's above the axis in the next region, so it's positive. And in a slight abuse, what's being asked is that we want to compute the radical of this, the square root of this. And when can you do that? Well, you can do it when you're in a positive region. You can do it when you're there or there. And that's the answer.